Say yeah. it's good. Hey. Thank you. Subscribe to YouTube. New video, new vlog. I know it's been a while. Y'all been seeing me turn it up on the reacts. But now we back switching things up on the vlogs. Y'all say what's up to the muffin. You know what I mean? She got some braces. You know, coming to get some braces. We're done. So, anyway, man, I'll see y'all, man. Hit that smash the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications because we are lit. All right? Yeah. All right, y'all. Look at the drip. And you already know I had to make a pit stop pass. It's one of my favorite places. Chipotle on deck. All right. I'm ready to eat. Yum, yum. Lunch, lunch. Got me a chicken bowl, as you can see. They hooked your boy up. Double chicken. I'm getting ready to make it happen. Starving like Marvin. Right now at Best Buy, getting ready to scoop up some merchandise. Yeah. Say what's up to the vlog. What's up, vlog? I know y'all ain't seen her in a while. That's <laughs> going to change, though. Yeah, I didn't know one dude. I was shopping, man. Get ready to get Lana a laptop. You know what I mean? Get her up to speed. All right, guys. It's your boy, D-String Squad, back in the building. And off the break, I want to apologize to you guys for this vlog being I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, it may not be something that you guys are aware of, but I know. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, you know, you're, you're just seeing the takes. You're just seeing the clips. But this is actually um, a week or maybe two weeks later from the very last clip that I showed you guys. And I'm just being transparent with y'all. I have a lot going on, clearly. I just started a um, reaction channel, too, y'all. So I'm excited about that. I actually just got finished recording. But anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm proud to say that um, I actually started a reaction channel. So for everybody out there who has been checking out my reaction content, um, I decided to go ahead and um, you know what I'm saying y'all probably already aware of that because nine times out of ten I'm getting ready to record a video and I'm getting ready to record a video right after this uh, letting you guys you know know to go ahead and head over to that particular channel and subscribe to that channel but you know what I'm saying we're gonna act like that didn't happen yet you know what I mean but at the end of the day guys I'm gonna have a new reaction channel y'all go check it out so I will nine times out of ten stop doing reactions here because um, I don't necessarily want to saturate my videos here my vlogs I, you know for y'all who are here for my vlogs i don't want you guys to be like let me sift through all of these reaction videos even though the content is crazy even though the content is fun to watch some of you guys are actually here just to see my vlogs or just to see my lifestyle just to you know get information regarding the uh, health and fitness stuff and as much as i enjoy doing the actual reaction videos as much as you guys may enjoy it at the same time some people are really only here for that content and i just wanted to make this you know what i'm saying a more organized situation so i decided to just go ahead and go crazy on my actual reaction channel so y'all do me a favor right now pause this video or immediately right after this one y'all go ahead to strength reacts go crazy on it we getting ready to go crazy on running up the numbers on that particular channel anyway so i wanted to say that plus um Tomorrow, guys, I'm actually uh, getting ready to get another tattoo, so I will go ahead and incorporate some of that in this vlog. I'll explain uh, what the actual representation of the tattoo means. Maybe in another video, I don't want this video to be too long, but I will show you guys. Hopefully, they'll let me record some of the work getting done in the actual tattoo shop. We'll see if they let me. I will, you know, share with you guys some of that footage. Of course, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I am going to take you guys in there and get some of what I can get and take you guys along my journey. So again regular vlogs we are back cranking that out reactions over on my reaction channel and if you're brand spanking new to here guys make sure you subscribe because we go crazy here on the channel and i appreciate all the love and support that we get so just wanted to clear that up so anyway y'all let's get on with the rest of this vlog nine times out of ten the next clip you'll probably see me in a tattoo shop i'm excited about this one let's go all right y'all it's the next day and um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the whole ta uh, tattoo situation. I am disappointed, but right now we at this remote place, man. One of our uh, remotes for my cable TV went out and you already know it's football season. So we got to change that now. Okay. My cable. Okay. Ask about who? Extender. So we can get service in the bedroom. Oh, I forgot. I mean, we on a time schedule, too. Oh, plus, then that lady said we're going to honey. Right. Hey, y'all, that was the easiest procedure. Leaving x fang That was so easy, guys. We was literally in and out. And the dude that worked here was cool. It's on the way. I don't know if you watch my vlogs, bro, but big shout out to you. This is an example of, like, you know what I'm saying? Signing up for something that you enjoy. You know what I mean? 
And even if you don't enjoy it, treating everybody with decency and respect, man. Dude was super cool, super down to earth. I love it. But anyway, man, I'll let y'all in a minute. Seafood joint over here. Seafood market. Yo, we need some seafood in our life, man. How many seafood levels do we have? Uh, man, my eyes are horrible. Man, I got the wrong shades on. I need to go ahead and put my reading glasses on. Yeah, I don't, it don't even look like no seafood, nothing. Let's talk about this tattoo situation, man. All right, so I know I told y'all yesterday that, you know, we was going, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, no copyright problems. I'm sorry, I hope they didn't pick this up. YouTube, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? But y'all, I know yesterday in the vlog, I told you guys that today I will be going to get um, another tattoo edition. It's a fail, you know what I mean? And something in my inside, my gut told me so, and I try my best. This one right here always try to tell me to think positive. Yes. Which is true. And I try to. It's just, you know, when you have gathered some experiences in life, man, you know, especially when it comes to suffering, disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, sometimes it's kind of difficult to brace for or not brace for the just in case it don't work out in your favor. Now, mind you, this is just a tattoo situation, so it's not that deep. But let me explain to you guys why I'm probably more disappointed than any. All right, now mind you guys, which I don't know is I've been trying to get this tattoo. Um, it's a meaning behind it. And when I finally do get it, I'm going to share with you guys the tattoo that I get and the meaning behind it. But I've been trying to get this tattoo since last March. Now here we are in September. Here we are in September. And I literally scheduled, this is my third person who I'm scheduling with. Um, the first person now mind you I only really want to go to the littest people you know what I'm saying like I'm willing to wait I'm willing to be patient I understand well, you can turn it up. yeah I'm willing to wait I'm willing to be patient I understand that you know when you're good at what you do then you got to know you know the person is going to be booked they're gonna you know you're gonna have to more than likely wait it out which is something that I'm willing to do you know what I'm saying um, so with that said to make the long story short the first person that I uh, reached out to was like, all right, cool, I'ma do it. They put me in the books, and it was a three month wait, all right? So again, I attempted to do it in March, or should I say in March, I scheduled it. So by June, um, the guy's assistant hit me back and um, was like, hey, look, you know, he asked to see your idea again, and he decided that he didn't want to approve of doing it because of the type of um, tattoos that he preferred to do was just not the tattoo that I wanted to um, get done on me. So, I, you know, I, I was disappointed because I'm like, dude, like, I literally waited like two and a half months to get to this point. Like, why? Yeah, I could have scheduled with somebody else. You know what I mean? My goal was to get it done by the summertime so that I could rock it in the summer. But, of course, here we are now in fall and I still don't have it, right? All right, so I went with the next person that I had in mind. And um, the next person I had in mind, you know, he, he shot with it too. I reached out to him actually in the past and I decided to just not do it and he never responded but he finally responded after me having to actually call up to the shop and he was like hey dude let me just let me give you my information so that it'd be easier for me to you know what I'm saying get your uh, information and then we can go about it from there so he was like just text me and I'll let you know what I can do so I was like all right boom all right so I reached out to him he was like all right cool he was like how soon are you looking to get it done now my thing is this if Let's just say, if you ask me that question, I'm going to be like, let's get it done next week. You know what I mean? But if you know realistically that you're not prepared to, you know, tattoo me the following week, you won't be able to book me till several months, several months down the line, then, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to do what I got to do. But he didn't even, like, put it out there like that. He was like, how soon are you trying to get it done? And I was like, I'm trying to get it done as soon as possible. Can we do something next week? And he was like, uh, he was like, look, next week, just go ahead and reach out to me and I'll see if I can open, open up something for you, right? So then next week came, I reached out to him, no response. You know what I'm saying? I sent him another text, no response. At this point, I'm like, dude, I know you I know you can literally see my text because I texted you directly on your cell, and he never responded. So I'm like, man, what? Does my money stink or something? You know what I'm saying? Like, are people scared to get my money? I don't, I personally don't understand it, bro. You know, I mean, maybe these guys are just so Hollywood, man, you know, to where they just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't coming with enough of what they want. You know, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I ended up finding another person. Another person in which it was a three-month wait. So I had to wait an additional three months 
again, I only want to go to the littest people. And now uh, this person, you know, looking at their work, their, their work is lit. And so today is the day that I was supposed to actually make it happen. As you can see, the sun is beaming. I was excited about it. And I'm um, unfortunately, um, they call and told me that she was sick, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm not mad at her, you know, things do happen. So this isn't a thing where I'm mad, I'm disappointed because I was anticipating it. I was anticipating vlogging it. I was anticipating, you know what I'm saying? Today being that actual day. Um, the unfortunate part, even with that guys, I'm in this vlog after this, but the unfortunate part is um, the guy was like, hey look, I'm gonna have to, you know, schedule you for her next available date. So my thing is, I'm like, I'm no, I know y'all not gonna hold me down, you know what I'm saying? She's busy, so I know y'all not gonna push me back. You know what I'm saying? Like, too much more time, right? And that was exactly what it was. He told me her next available date wouldn't be until December. December. Now, mind you, I've been trying to get this tattoo since March. Got pushed back, denied, rejected. Waited another month or so. No response. Booked the session. Three months later, I'm told that I have to possibly wait three more months. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking to get nothing crazy done. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, this positive one right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got, tell them what happened. Yeah, this, this this positive one right here was like, you know, you probably shouldn't have thought. You know what I mean? You probably shouldn't have even had the, thought, uh, the thoughts conjure up in your head that it's not going to happen. And I get it because, you know, we're heavy into this manifestation stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I'm big on it. She big on it. Mm -hmm. We have talks all the time. Power talks. Thoughts and words are powerful. Yeah. Big facts. Thoughts yeah. and words are powerful. You know, and it's kind of difficult to control your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You can control what you say, but sometimes it's kind of hard to control what you're actually thinking. Um, but in this particular situation, I'm going to try to keep it up because she still have to go to the shop to get her uh, nose no, pressing. Okay. So we're still visiting it today. But anyway, um, long and short, she was like, you never know, man. Something could open up because the guy did say, you know, people do cancel. And if something open up, you'll be the first in line. And literally, literally, like five minutes later, he called me back and was like, hey, dude, somebody canceled so we can get you in within the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. Within mm -hmm. the next... That's right. Within the next two weeks. So... Where I, yeah, where I was thinking I may have to wait all the way to December after Christmas at that. It's literally, it's looking like it's projected. It's going to, matter of fact, it's going to happen. No later than the next couple of weeks. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, if they can get me in sooner, I will. So, um, God is definitely working my patience. He's teaching me patience. And it could have been worse. You know, it's not the worst thing that you can, you know, deal with. But I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not the end of the day. And it's still going to happen in the next couple of weeks. So, I just wanted to share with you guys why I'm a little disappointed. So, it's not going to happen in this video. But I promise you, you guys, it's going to happen. All right? All right, child. I'm in the video. We have a lot to do today. So, um... Back with the vlogs, guys. Go subscribe to my reaction channel. Um, I appreciate all the love and support that we get. Do what brings life to you. And it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. You already know to the next video. Stay positive. You know what I mean? Just tune in for the next video, guys. Make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, all of that. Uh, turn on post notification bell. Anyway, let's go. See y'all. One love. Peace.